Hello, my name is Martha Borowski. I am the financial literacy coach and training manager for Bright Paths and the Financial Empowerment Center. As we honor Martin Luther King Jr. as a civil rights leader, we would also like to honor him for the work he did fighting for economic justice. This short video from Bright Paths and the Financial Empowerment Center will walk you through a budgeting activity called the Budget Dean Game, which you and your families can complete on your own. This activity will be used to teach budgeting tools and tips, as well as highlighting the financial struggles of many of our Northern Virginia residents. I would like to introduce one of our financial literacy volunteers, Rhonda Brown. She will be moderating this activity. Our players are Ryan, he's 25 years old and lives with her two roommates, and Mateus, who is an eighth grader, and his mom, Maria Jose, who is the director of the Financial Empowerment Center. Rhonda, it's all yours. Alrighty, so hello, my name is Rhonda Brown, and I have been a volunteer with the Financial Empowerment Center and Bright Paths for a little over the last two years. So let's get into how we play the game. To play this game, each player will get a life scenario and a budget sheet. Ryan, for your life scenario, you are married with two children ages six and 10. You're a sales associate and your wife cleans houses three days a week. Mateus, for your life scenario, you are married with one child, age three. You are a paramedic and your wife is a stay-at-home mom. Ryan and Mateus, using the budget bean sheets, highlight one item in each category. Keep in mind your life scenario, whether you're single or married or married with children, one income or two incomes. Once you have highlighted all items, count up how many beans you spent. And to highlight, if you're using Adobe, you just cover over it, cover it, and click the highlighter. And that's how you can highlight something. So Rhonda, would you like to talk about what Martin Luther King and uh, what his economic justice was and what does that mean to in today's society as well as what that means with COVID and what's going on in our North Virginia area? Most definitely. So Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a fierce advocate for working people and Americans labor movement. For King, the struggle for racial justice went hand in hand with the struggle for economic justice and was driven by his belief that all people had the right to earn a fair and dignified living, regardless of race, occupation, or socioeconomic status. Ryan, are you done? I am. Okay, so I wish, uh, let's share your screen and you can talk about what you decided was important to you and your family. Okay, so Ryan, what did you choose to do with your housing? So as you can see, I chose to buy a home and then also save 10% of my income. For utilities, I will pay the total cost. And for a car, I will pay for a used car. Health insurance is provided by my employer, so that is one bean, and I will pay for part-time daycare. Food we'll eat at home, but we will eat takeout once a week, and that will be four beans for family. And then for cell phone, we will pay for a couple with uh, both smartphones, and as well as to have a high-speed internet. Personal care, we will use name brand uh, personal hygiene products, and we will shop at discount stores for the family. Entertainment, we will pay for premium cable, and we also would like to buy small gifts and shop sales. Additionally, other expenses, we have purchased movie, download apps and DVDs and music, as well as a hobby to keep ourselves busy. And how many beans did you use, Ryan? That would be 35 beans. Okay. Mateus, are you done with yours? Uh, yep. Okay. Let me share. Okay. Okay, Mateus, would you like to discuss what you chose for your family? Um, for my housing, I want to rent my own place. And for my savings, I also chose to save 10% of my income. For my utilities, um, the cost will be shared with my roommates. And for transport, 
transportation, um, I would like to pay for a new car. For health insurance, I want an affordable care insurance. And for child care, part-time daycare. Food, I would like to eat at home and eat out rarely for my entire family. For communication, I want a smartphone, a smartphone with basic internet. For personal care, I want to use name brand personal hygiene bars. And for clothing, I want to buy at discount stores for my home family. Entertainment, I think um, we're going to visit friends and go for walks for events like that. And for gifts, I want to buy small gifts in shop sales for the most part. And for other expenses, I'd like to purchase movie, download apps, DVDs, music, and that type of stuff. And also, I want I want to do donations. Fantastic. Okay, so Vonda, do you want to moderate? Uh, and oh, how many beans did you use, Mateus? Thirty. Thirty. Okay, so Vonda, would you like to moderate Ryan and discuss with him his next section of his life scenario? Awesome. Yes. So Ryan, scroll down to round two. Okay. And in you will see that given your life scenario, all right, there we are, round two. So given your life scenario, you make $12 an hour as a sales associate. Your monthly income is $1,900 a month and your spouse makes $300 a week. Her monthly income is $1,200 a month. So after taxes, you bring home $2,600 a month. Therefore, you have 26 beans you can spend per month. Now, you're budgeted 35 beans, which means you don't have enough beans to cover your budget ex expenses. So tell me, what can you do to find some cost savings? Now, keep in mind your needs versus wants, i.e. things that you absolutely have to have, needs being food, shelter, clothing, and things that are wants, you know, versus things that are wants, which may be items such as cable television or other items that you don't necessarily have to have in order to live. Okay, awesome. I guess I will start with my housing. I will save two beans by renting my own place instead of buying a home. Okay. For my income, I'd like to still save 10%, so I'll have to make cuts elsewhere. Utilities will stay the same as I pay the total cost, but now instead of, I will keep a used car. Sorry, apologize about that. Employer insurance will stay the same. And I will make cuts with going to basic internet and dropping down to a non-smartphone. Next, I will eat at home for all my meals with my family. So no more going out. I'll save me another bean. Okay. Personal care, I will use no name, uh, no name personal hygiene products. And I will shop at thrift shops as well. I also drop down to the basic cable package as that will save me another bean. And then finally, because I want to keep my savings at 10%, I would uh, cut my hobby out. That will save me the two beans and that should get me to nine. Okay, it looks good. So, Mateus, List the items that you can now eliminate or spend less in certain categories that will bring your budget in line with the 27 beans. Oh, wait, let's do Mateus's uh, income. Okay. So Mateus, you are a paramedic making $20 an hour, working 40 hours a week. So your income is $3,200. After taxes, your income is 2,700. You budgeted 30 beans, which means you have to save three beans. So please let us know how you would save those beans. Okay. 
How do you convey? Um, well, what can you get? For child care, since I have a spouse that doesn't have a job and she stays at home, um, instead of having part-time daycare, hopefully, um, she can help me out with that. And for communication, instead of having a smartphone, I think I'm going to cut down to a basic cell phone. With that saves me two beans. And for clothing, I think I'm going to start buying the family clothes at thrift shops saves that saves me three beans and, and then you're going to make it. Yeah. yeah perfect okay so Rhonda do you want to throw Ryan his curveball all right COVID? check this out Ryan now, because of COVID, your wife is no longer able to clean houses. Therefore, you're now living on your income alone. What can you do to make ends meet? Well, there are a number of things I could potentially do. Um, there's a chance I could start driving for Uber to help supplement some of that income. Um, because of COVID, uh, the, we can stop paying for daycare as school will move virtually and my wife will be at home as well. I may have to consider stopping my savings or at least dropping it down a little bit to save a little more money. And I can also eliminate extra spending. I can go even further down with no maybe no cable and um, basic prepaid cell phones as well. And finally, I can ask the state for if I qualify for assistance and see if I can get any assistance there. Fantastic. Those all sound like good ways to be able to make ends meet with that new budget. So I'd like to share a quote from Coretta Scott King. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is not only for celebration and remembrance, education and tribute, but above all, a day of service. We at Bright Paths and the Financial Empowerment Center would encourage you to remember the economic struggles many of our neighbors struggle with on a daily basis. Please refer to the information posted with this video to obtain the budget being game for yourself or to find out how you can help our neighbors who are in need. Thank you, Anna. And thank you everyone for listening. We hope you learned something with this short video and please consider uh, playing it with your family, with your children, to let them understand about the budgeting being game. Contact Bright Paths and the Financial Development Center to see how we can help you with your budgeting. Uh, every service we offer is for free as well as looking into ways that you can give back to your community as well. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Bye. Bye.